Hello everybody. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna make uh, a coffee soap. So uh, today I'm uh, making the preparations. I have made a very very uh, strong uh, coffee. This is a very good uh, organic uh, Israeli coffee. And uh, now um, I'm gonna. This is a coffee filter. Uh, it's brown because it's. Uh, not bleached. I hope I say the word in English, the correct word. Now I will take the coffee. And strain it. And then, what's left from the coffee, this good stuff, I'm uh, gonna use uh, as a exfoliant agent and uh, also aesthetically in the dark part and then the uh, coffee uh, that uh, is strained here I'm gonna pour to this uh, soap mold and uh, freeze it so I'm uh, working in two batches today because I want two colors one uh, is uh, half of the light solution is already uh, cooling here and the other is the frozen coffee half of the amount and I'll explain later why so I don't want to scorch the coffee that's why I'm working with it frozen Because I'm not working with titanium uh, dioxide with the uh, OTD, so I'm, I'm doing today two batches. So one would be the natural, and it will turn white as time goes by. So I uh, divided everything uh, for two parts and uh, first I measured the oils and then I divided for two parts, parts. and uh, um, also the super fat and the light solution of course. So let's get started. And we start first with the white. And now for the coffee light solution. Almost everything was melted in the coffee light solution. That's good. And then I'm going to the sink. Okay, start with the white. I don't know if you can see well everything inside the bucket. But I think that something you can see. Always when I'm editing the videos afterwards, 
I'm cutting the noises of the uh, stick blender. I don't like to hear it when I see videos. So I suppose you neither. Again, sorry for the mistakes in English. I'm not English speaker. Okay, let's move to the coffee solution. Look what a nice color, huh? All this I'm doing not to use TD, titanium dioxide, because I want two colors. Frankly, I don't believe it's the healthiest uh, thing in the world, the TD. I know lots of uh, soppers using it. Now for the cocoa butter. I admit it was a little bit of operation to divide everything. But I think it will be worthwhile at the end. I almost forgot the cream. Usually I don't like so much to use, to use cream. By the way, it's a coconut cream. It's a great al vegan alternative to a milk cream. It's cream, not milk. I need to concentrate, sorry. When you operate into a but yes, you can easily forget something. I almost forgot the cream. When I finish, I will talk about the cream. So usually, usually, I'm not using cream because I'm not using palm oil and not other stuff that make your uh, butter uh, harder. So the cream, although it makes a very uh, leathery soap, I notice it makes it uh, also soft. So it's good for baby soap, but Sometimes it's too soft, but uh, coffee soap is uh, a little bit too harsh, so the cream would soften it. And also, I didn't put too much, about 30 grams each uh, batch. Now for the essential oil. This I need to divide because I haven't done it before. So if I want to be accurate and have an idea, I'm going to make one, two, three, One, two, three. Amazing the smell. One, one. Okay, now I just make sure that everything is blended well and bring it to medium trace 
So, uh, about the essential oils, the base is uh, orange, but the smell is not at all orangey. Uh, it's just the base for um, for the other spicy uh, essential oils, uh, nutmeg, um, ginger, uh, clove, peppermint, of course. Um, did I forget something? Don't think so. So it's a great smell. Again, I'm taking off the glove, and the the bare hand is not holding a, something that the. These grains is uh, the coffee that uh, left on the filters, and I uh, kept it uh, refrigerated. I don't think that would be enough. I uh, will mix it well and uh, meet you for the next part. Trust me, this yellow will be white. It won't stay yellow. So uh, I don't have uh, much uh, coffee butter left, but it was expected. I wanted to make a, 
60% from one branch and 40 from the other, but it was too much calculation, so I left it like this. Let's see what I do. This I leave for the top. cocoa powder for the rescue. I'm not drinking from this coffee afterwards. What's for the soap is for the soap. It's uh, after quarter after midnight. Thirty one uh, degrees Celsius at night. So uh, what I want to show you within a uh, half an hour that I made the soap, it uh, went into full gel. Look at the temperature. Want to see Fahrenheit? This is in Fahrenheit. 
it's uncovered, not, not insulated, and it's fully gelled. See you for the cutting. Good morning. Uh, today I'm unmolding and uh, the, tomorrow I will cut the soap. It's not yet ready to be cut. Almost. So, wow, nice. Look like a mochaccino. This I made from the leftovers. It's a sample or for me. It still smells like coffee, I can tell. Maybe the smell of the coffee will go on, but for, my, for now, still strong coffee smell. Okay, let's uh, cut uh, this soap. Uh, Again, I'm sorry for the noise. I know it's uh, not so pleasant. It's the air conditioner of the neighbors. I don't know what there is with them. All day long they are <coughs> operating the air conditioner. So, it's already hard as a rock. I don't know what's the inside, so let's try to cut a uh, first piece. It is already a nice, very nice soap, but uh, if uh, the white swirls are uh, nice, so it will take it to another level of beauty. This will be whiter as time goes by. Coffee soap is uh, harder uh, than uh, other soaps. Yes, the coffee makes it harder. And the last piece. And then I will turn the camera to the other side so you can see well. This is the sample. And this is the last piece. So guys, uh, here are the soaps after uh, about uh, two weeks of uh, 
curing time. Uh, this, these are the pictures that I'm uh, taking for the Etsy shop. Uh, so I took the opportunity to show you how the soaps are uh, looking like after some uh, curing time. The smell uh, is uh, very, very, very delicious. Um, it's a very spi spicy and you can uh, really still uh, smell also the coffee. Uh, actually, uh, even a strong coffee smell without a uh, coffee fragrance. Um, I can say I'm uh, pretty satisfied with the results. Even though I thought I uh, wouldn't use the hardship embeds, uh, eventually I uh, used them and it looks uh, nice. And um, if you're interested in uh, all natural uh, uh, soap making, please subscribe to my uh, channel. I promise to upload a lot of more uh, interesting uh, all natural. Uh, videos and thanks for watching see you for the next video bye hila